Hey Pards, do you want to play your favorite song on the guitar but don't know how? Yeah! Happy birthday! I love you, baby! Don't you worry, I'll help you out. Relax, it's not as difficult as you think. You only need to learn four simple things to get you started. First, you need to learn how to get your guitar in tune. From this... To this... You also need to learn how to read guitar chords like this so you can play the chords of all the songs that you like. You also need to learn how to count beats. It's easy if you know how to count from 1 to 4 and you're already halfway there. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. And finally, you need to learn how to strum the strings of the guitar like this. So tara, let's get those fingers flying na, shall we? Hello again mga pards! If you're new to my channel, welcome! I'm Boy Hapay and I play guitars and make music cause it's super fun! And why not, Coconut? I publish new videos every Friday, 7pm Manila time. So go click the subscribe button and that notification bell so you're updated on my next videos. So let's get you closer to playing your first song. To kick off your guitar journey, let me introduce you to your music companion. Say hello to the guitar! There are three major popular types of six-string guitars available in your favorite music store. The acoustic guitar, the electric guitar, and the acoustic electric guitar. The acoustic guitar is the simplest type of guitar in the list. It does not need any electronics or other equipments to make a sound. You can play it as is. The sound comes from the vibrations made when you strum or pluck the strings. This is an electric guitar. This guitar requires electricity and speakers called amplifiers like this to make a sound. It has built-in microphones called pickups to convert the vibrations from the guitar to electric signals which are reproduced as sound by the speakers of the amplifier. It sounds like this. You can play this guitar unplugged, but it will sound significantly quieter compared to an acoustic guitar. It sounds like this. An acoustic electric guitar like this one is hybrid. It's a marriage between an acoustic and electric guitar. It has built-in pickups, so if you want to play louder like an electric guitar, you can plug it in an amplifier, or you can play it unplugged on its own. It sounds like this when connected to an amplifier. Now, let's get to know the guitar better. There are four major parts of the guitar. The headstock, the neck, the body, and the strings. These major parts are the same for all types of guitars. The headstock has the tuners or machine heads. We use these to get the guitar in tune. You can turn these tuners to tighten or loosen the strings. The tighter the string, the higher the pitch. This thing is called the nut. It supports the strings near the headstock. The guitar neck has this wooden top called the fingerboard or fretboard that we put our fingers on to play notes or chords. These metal strips are called fret wires. The space between two fret wires is called a fret. Each fret represents a note. The higher you go up the neck, the higher the pitch. The body serves as the soundboard of the guitar. This resonates or vibrate to produce a sound. An acoustic guitar usually has a sound hole. The sound hole makes the acoustic guitar sound louder even without the aid of electronics or an amplifier. This is called the bridge, and this thing is called the saddle. The bridge in the saddle supports the strings in the body side of the guitar. Acoustic guitars usually has these. These are called bridge pins. These pins act as locking mechanism for the strings. And finally, the strings. This is the most important part of the guitar. The strings is your point of connection with the instrument. Most guitars have six strings, but there are also other guitars with seven or more strings. Wow. This is usually for more advanced players. These strings are usually made of metal or nylon. The thicker the string, the lower the tone. So how do we make the guitar sound? To make a sound and play a song in the guitar, we usually need two hands. We use our right hand for rhythm and the left hand for notes or chords. A note 
is a symbol representing a musical sound. It's like the alphabet, your ABC, pero for music. In the guitar, if we play a combination of two or more notes, we form a chord. You need to learn how to play chords to play your favorite songs in the guitar. It's simple and I'll teach you how. Now, we use our right hand for rhythm. Rhythm is the heartbeat of music. We use our right hand to establish tempo. Tempo is how slow or fast the song is. The right hand or the rhythm hand also helps to set the mood of the song. We can either pluck the strings for a more emotional mood or strum the strings for a happier vibe. Okay, yay! Let's end episode 1 here. I'll give you time to digest everything muna. If you don't have a guitar yet, go buy or borrow one now because you will be needing it for the next episode. For the next episode, I'll be teaching you how to get your guitar in tune and how to play your first chords. Thank you for watching the video. Stay safe, stay healthy, grab a guitar now and share the gift of music with everybody. So parts, until the next video, takits!